Editora Globo apresenta Cursos de Idiomas Globo Inglês Fita 12, Lado A Lição 89 Desejando sorte e animando Escute Chegou a hora dos exames finais de Ben Lovett e seus colegas Hoje é o primeiro dia de provas This is it, a big day. I was up all night revising. I hope it goes well. I'm not ready. I wish we had another week. I'm sure you don't need to worry. What's the time? Uh, we've got another three minutes. Oh, my God. Don't worry. It's only an exam. Chega então Nick Yates. Hello, everybody. It's a perfect day for a philosophy exam. <laughs> Question one. Is this a question? <laughs> answer. If that's a question, this is an answer. <laughs> uh, question two. Why is John Hicks looking pale? Answer. Because he's nervous. Oh, oh, shut up. Nick. We ought to go in now. Good luck, everyone. I don't need luck. I need a miracle. So do I. Repetition. Escute estas frases e expressões. Antes, apenas escute. Escute de novo, mas pare o gravador depois de cada frase ou expressão dita e repita em voz alta. Good luck. I hope everything goes well. Are you nervous? Nervous? Worried. Tense. Competent. Relaxed. Calm. Relax. Don't worry about it. Have a good time. Have a good journey. Have a good day. My brother's going to the dentist. He's nervous about going to the dentist. Good luck with the dentist. I'm sure you don't need to worry. My sister's taking her driving test. She's quite relaxed about taking her test. She's quite relaxed about taking her test. Good luck with the test. I hope you pass. I'm sure you won't fail. Exercise 1 On the psychiatrist's couch Exercício número 1 um. No divã do psiquiatra Agora você vai escutar a conversa que a psiquiatra manteve com a sua paciente Escute atentamente Are you relaxed about talking to strangers? Talking to strangers? No, no I'm not What about being alone? Does that worry you? Oh, no, I'm quite happy about being alone. What about going to the doctor? That's no problem. I'm not at all worried about going to the doctor. Actually, I don't go very often. But I'm quite relaxed about it when I do. But I don't like the dentist. I get terribly nervous about going to the dentist. I see. Actually, I'm nervous about visiting the dentist myself. <laughs> what about your bank manager? Are you worried about seeing him? No, I've got a lovely bank manager. He's always nice to me, even when I haven't got any money. I'm not at all nervous about seeing him. Good. Now, I want to talk about some other things. Tell me, are you a confident driver? A confident driver? Uh, it's difficult to say. Let me put it another way. Do you like driving in all conditions? In the rain, for example? Driving in the rain? Oh, no, I don't like that. I'm very nervous about driving in the rain. That's very natural. I'm not surprised. What about taking exams? Does that present any problem? No. I'm quite relaxed about taking exams. Well, it's funny, but I, I've never had a problem with exams. I'm not at all nervous. I see. Exercise 3. Audio crossword. Exercício número 3. Audio cruzadas. Escute com atenção esta conversa. Com as informações que for obtendo desta conversa, complete as cruzadas. I'm terribly worried 
Try to be more relaxed. But I haven't done enough work. I'm not at all confident. It's only an exam. Yes, but there's an interview after the exam, and interviews make me nervous. Don't worry. I'm sure you're going to pass. It's not as bad as going to the dentist. It's ten times worse. Exercise five. Now sing this song. Good luck, good luck. I hope everything goes well. Don't worry, don't be nervous. Have a good time. Good luck, good luck. I hope everything goes well. Don't worry, don't be nervous. Have a good time. Aqui termina a lição número oitenta e nove. Lição 90. Perguntando sobre o desempenho de uma pessoa. Escute. Já tendo passado os primeiros dias dos exames finais, Ben Lovett está em seu quarto no St. John's College. Convidou sua irmã, Lucy, para tomar um chá com ele. How did it go? Not too badly. Do you think you passed? Oh, it's impossible to say. But it was easier than I expected. How many exams are there? Eight in all. It's a peculiar system, isn't it? In what way? You study for three years, and then everything depends on ten days of exams. It suits me. I'm good at exams. But it's not a good system for people who get nervous. You're right. People like John Hicks, for example. He's brilliant. He knows a colossal amount about his subjects, but today was a disaster for him. I'm sorry to hear that. How did Mick Yates get on? Oh, he enjoyed himself. There was a difficult question about the philosopher Immanuel Kant. Mick wrote, Immanuel Kant, and I can't either. <laughs> Repetition. Escute estas frases e palavras. Primeiramente, ouça com atenção. Em seguida, volte a fita e vai escutando uma por uma parando o gravador assim que forem ditas. Então repita em voz alta. How did it go? How did you get on? Not too badly. Bad. Badly. Excellent. Excellently. Incredible. Incredibly. Incredibly well. He's brilliant. He's very cultured. He knows a lot about the subject. He studies science. He's a scientist. Science. Scientist. Economics. Economist. Engineering. Engineer. Psychology. Psychologist. Sociology. Sociologist. He's an expert in this field. Expert. Specialist. Connoisseur. I don't know anything about the subject. The exam was a disaster for me. Practice. Exercise one. The moment of truth. Exercício número um. A hora da verdade. Escute a conversa que os examinadores estão tendo sobre as qualificações que cada estudante merece. Anote quais alunos foram aprovados e quais os reprovados, a partir do comentário dos professores. What do you think of Mary Peters? Mary Peters? Oh, yes. She writes very interestingly about the subject. I liked her answers. So did I. She has read a lot, and she explains things very clearly. Good. So, Mary Peters passes. Do we all agree? Oh, yes. Without question. What about Colin James? To be honest, his exam was a disaster. I agree. He doesn't know anything about the subject. I don't think he's done any work at all. Hmm. So Colin James fails. Now, the next student. Stanley Cobb. Stanley Cobb? Brilliant! He's a brilliant student. Yes. He wrote an excellent paper. I can't recommend him enough. Stanley Cobb passes, then. Yes. His answers were extremely interesting. What's your opinion of Michelle Watkins? 
I'm not sure about this student. I think she knows quite a lot about the subject, but she answered some of the questions very badly. Mm, I agree with you. But I must say, I liked her answer to question four. Her answer to question four was really very original. Perhaps she was nervous. Some students get very nervous about exams. Well, we must decide. Do you think she can pass if one of her answers was good? Yes. She's worked very well this year. I agree. You're right. There are two more students here. Georgina Goodson-Smith and Nicholas Masterson. Let's talk about Miss Goodson-Smith first. I didn't like her answers very much. I mean, I didn't agree with her about many things. But she's got to pass. Yes. Georgina Goodson-Smith should pass. Right. Georgina Goodson-Smith passes. What about Nicholas Masterson? Fail. What? But he's an incredibly intelligent student. And he's very cultured. But he's certainly not an expert in this field. His answers were terrible. I don't agree at all. Of course, he's not an expert. Students aren't experts. But I found his answers very interesting. I think he should pass. You say pass, and you say fail. Yes. But if my colleague's feelings are so strong, I'm happy to accept his opinion. Mr. Masterson can pass. Good. Thank you very much, both of you. Exercise two. Pronunciation. Exercício número dois. Pronúncia. Escute e repita cada termo e frase. Happy. Happily. She smiled happily. Hungry. Hungrily. He looked hungrily at the cheese. Thirsty. Thirstily. They drank the water thirstily. Beautiful. Beautifully. She dances beautifully. Easy. Easily. He won the race easily. Gentle. Gently. She pushed him gently with her left hand. Comfortable. Comfortably. She sat comfortably in front of the television. Serious. Seriously. They talked seriously for half an hour. Dangerous. Dangerously. He lives dangerously. Exercise three. Sing this song. How did you get on? Not very well. How did you get on? Not very well. How did you get on? Not badly, thank you. How did you get on? Not badly, thanks. How did you get on? Not very well. How did you get on? Not Que termina a lição 90. Lição 91. Objetos perdidos. Escute. Felicity King acha que deixou sua pasta de documentos no restaurante onde almoçou. Decide voltar lá para verificar se foi de fato no restaurante que deixou a pasta. Excuse me. I think I left my briefcase here. Where were you sitting? Uh, over there in the corner. I'll ask my colleague. Thank you. Frank? Yes? Have you seen a briefcase? 
Is it a red leather briefcase? That's the one. Has it got brass corners? Yes, that's right. And it's got no initials on it. F.K.? Yes. Have you got it? No, I haven't. Then where is it? I gave it to a very suspicious-looking gentleman with a moustache and dark glasses. He said his name was Frederick Kipling. But that's ridiculous. It's mine. It's got some very important documents in it. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm only joking. I've got your briefcase here. Oh! Repetition. Escute estas palavras e expressões. Primeiro preste atenção a cada uma. Escute de novo e repita. Para isso pare o gravador ao final de cada uma. I've lost my briefcase. Where did you leave it? I've forgotten. I've forgotten where I left it. Forget. Forgot. Forgotten. Leave. Left. Left. Lose. Lost. Lost. When did you lose it? I don't remember. I don't remember when. I don't remember when it was. What does it look like? It's made of leather. Leather? Plastic. Imitation leather. Cotton. Denim. Canvas. Gold. Silver. Chrome. Brass. It's a red leather case with brass locks. It's a red leather case with brass locks. It's under the table. Under. On top of. Above. Below. Between. It's got my initials between the locks. Exercise four. Sing this song. Where did you leave it? I don't know. I don't know where I left my brother back. Termina a lição 91. Lição 92. Concordando e discordando. Preste atenção. Sam Lovett e Felicity King estão no carro voltando de um almoço de negócios em Oxford. Dirigindo-se para Woodham, os dois aproveitam o tempo para falar de publicidade. You don't see perfume ads on television. That's not true. There are hundreds at Christmas. <laughs> But it isn't Christmas. I think it's crazy to spend a fortune on TV commercials when the big boys don't advertise on television at all. I don't agree with you. And I'll tell you why. Not everybody buys perfume, but everybody uses soap. Right. If we create a luxury image for love at perfume, people will want our soap. I see what you mean. Long dresses, a dinner at the Ritz, a chauffeur to take you home. I can't afford the perfume, but I'll buy the soap. I'm sure it will work. So am I. Repetition. Escute estas palavras e expressões. Antes preste atenção. Depois, escute de novo, mas parando o gravador para repetir com a mesma pronúncia. I'm sure the plan will work. I'm sure the plan will work. I agree with you. I disagree with you. I don't agree at all. You don't see perfume ads on TV. You don't see perfume ads on TV. That's true. That's not true. I think it's a good idea. I think it's a good idea. So do I. I don't think it's a good idea. 
I don't think it's a good idea. Nor do I. Neither do I. I think it's crazy. You're right. You're absolutely right. You're wrong. You're absolutely wrong. Nonsense. Practice. Exercise one. The genius. Exercício número um. O gênio. Com as expressões que significam acordo ou desacordo que você já preparou, participe desta conversa. It's a clever idea. That's true. He's a very clever man. You're right. All his suggestions are brilliant. I absolutely agree. But his plan won't work. I don't agree at all. It's too difficult. I disagree. And it's too expensive. Nonsense. Exercise 3. Package tour. Exercício número 3. Excursão programada. Com o que você já preparou para concordar ou discordar de uma opinião, participe desta conversa. Antes, dois exemplos. I thought the hotel was fine. So did I. I didn't enjoy the journey. Nor did I. Neither did I. Agora é a sua vez de continuar o diálogo. I thought it was too long. So did I. I love the people and the language. So do I. I didn't think the food was very good. Nor did I. Neither did I. I thought the view from the hotel was beautiful. So did I. I didn't like the beaches. Nor did I. Neither did I. I thought the weather was beautiful. So did I. Exercise four. Sing this song. That's absolutely right. You're absolutely right. It's true, it's true. I absolutely agree with you. That's absolutely wrong. You're absolutely wrong. It's not true. I absolutely disagree with you. Termina aqui a lição 92. Lição 93. Numa granja, comentando como as coisas mudam. Preste atenção. Tim Lovett foi até uma granja das redondezas para comprar ovos. Tim fica observando um homem que ordena uma vaca. Why are you milking that one by hand? She's a bit sore. She's got my status. When I started this job, we used to milk all the cows by hand. Is it quicker with a milking machine? Oh, yes. It takes 10 to 20 minutes to milk a cow with a milking machine. By hand, it takes about half an hour. But we've got far more cows now, so it's the same, really. Mind you, in the old days, we used to have three cow men. It must be easier now. Oh, yes, much easier. Life used to be very hard on a farm. When I first started, we used to do everything with horses. There weren't any tractors. Not on this farm, anyway. Tractors must save a lot of time. I suppose you're right. Mind you, my working day isn't any shorter. Repetition. Preste atenção nestas frases e expressões. Antes, escute para se familiarizar com a pronúncia. Depois, volte à fita e repita cada uma delas parando o gravador. We used to do everything by hand. We used to do everything by hand. Now we have machines. 
We used to do everything with horses. We used to do everything with horses. Horses. Cows. Pigs. Sheep. Bulls. Animals. Now we have tractors. Life used to be hard on a farm. Farm. Farming. Farmer. Field. Gate. Tree. In the old days, it used to take half an hour to milk a cow. In the old days, it used to take half an hour to milk a cow. Nowadays, it takes ten minutes. When I started this job, Everything was different. Everything was simple. Simple. Complicated. Different. The same. Things aren't the same as they used to be. Things aren't the same as they used to be. Exercise 1. Then and now. Exercício número 1. Um. Antes e agora. Escute atentamente esta entrevista e com as informações que conseguir, complete a tabela. How many sheep have you got on your farm now? We haven't got any. We used to have 30 sheep, but we haven't got any now. We've got more cows than anything. How many have you got? How many cows? A uh, hundred and twenty. We used to have about ten. But of course, with milking machines, you can have a lot more cows nowadays. We've got a hundred and twenty cows at the moment. What about pigs? We've got about a dozen. Uh, let me think. Uh, yes, we've got twelve pigs. Is that more than you had before, or not as many? Uh, more. We used to have half that number. We only used to have six pigs. Do you use horses nowadays? <laughs> oh, no. No, we've got two tractors and a Land Rover. It just isn't necessary. We used to have two lovely horses, but when they died, we didn't get any more. Exercise four. Sing this song. Things aren't the same as they E aqui termina a lição noventa e três. Aqui termina o lado A.